Welcome to a new feature release by us at Zendla. So now you have the ability to add live streams straight in to your class. So new feature, live class lessons. Now this has been highly anticipated and you guys have heard about it and now we've actually released it. So now you have the ability to add a live directly into your course curriculum. So I'm going to show you how it all works. We're super excited to announce this. We know a lot of you have been after this feature. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you how it all works. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got two live classes set up and one's running uh, tomorrow, and one's running uh, later on. So we've got two live classes there. Now what you're going to notice straight away is that there's a feature missing when you set up your live classes now because we no longer have this little drop down where you can add this particular live to a course because we don't need to because we can put it straight in to our live course now. So that's one thing. If you look in there and you're looking for where it goes, then you know now it's not going to be in there because you need to put it into the live course or the live course so you can stream live into that course. So let's jump into a course now and I'll just show you how easy it is to set this up. Now remember, I have these two lives here and they're ready to go. So they haven't started yet. So if you have any ones that are already in there and they finish, they will not show. So it's only the live classes that you've got here that you set inside there. So remember this one's called testing live class experience. And this one's also testing live work experience. It's just a uh, copy of this one, basically. Let's jump into the course now and show you that you have this extra field to be able to put these things in. So this is super exciting. Then we're going to look at it as a student, see what they see. So I'm inside the uh, live course now. So I'm inside a course that I've created. I'm going to go to the curriculum. Now what you're going to see in here now is we can add a new lesson and we can actually add the live to it. So I'm going to add a new lesson. And what you're going to see straight away is you have this new feature here, live. So we're going to click this and watch what happens. It's going to say live class and it's going to say select a live class. So you can go down here and you can see the live classes in there. So if this one's going to run next, I'm going to click this one and we're going to click done. And you're going to now see that it will appear down here. So it's telling you exactly when it's going to start. So you can just label your lesson with when it's going to start or whatever label you want to put onto it. And it's now going to appear in there. So people have bought it, they've gone in there, they see that live and they can go in there. And of course you can still record the live as you're doing it and you could set up another lesson page saying replay and put that replay in there or you could replace this with the re replay if you want to so if that question is asked like how do they see the replay of it once the live is finished you can take the live down out of here by deleting and you can just upload the video straight into there and then label it as replay of live commenced on whatever date all right so let's do another one so the live for tomorrow let's go down here and add a new lesson and again i'm going to select the live feature here. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to select this new one here, this copy that I've created. So we're going to go in there, so it's nice and clear, you can see exactly what you've labelled it, and we obviously would label the lesson name as well, which I'm going to do now, and then we're going to jump into the course and actually see how it looks from a student point of view. So just before we do that, we're just going to preview this um, as the admin. So obviously I go into the course curriculum page here, and we click this, and you can see inside here now we have this live in here you can see this is running tomorrow and you can see it just says book my spot so you've got that in there let's go back to the current curriculum as well so we're going back to this page and as you can see that's all set up in there as well so you can see there's lives running you've got this nice little logo in here now we're going to test this we're going to log in as a registered user of this course so now we're going to see what they see because there's a few little differences that you're going to see Okay, so now I'm logged in as a student and straight away you can see up here, I get a little pop-up up here that actually gives me all of the lives that are going on. Now, of course, I can click in here and it will say I'm going to this. So if I'm going to click in here, you're going to see this comes up. So now you've booked your spot and I could put not going in there. So you can book it easily from this little area here, which is really handy. So if I go to start now, you're going to see that we haven't started the lesson up, but it's in there now. So if I go to tomorrow's one, which I haven't booked in, because you see it, I've 
successfully booked into this one, I just did it. And if I go into this one now, it says I haven't booked in here. So you've got a double way of making sure that people don't miss where to book. So if I click this one now, you're gonna see that I am now booked in here. So you've successfully booked. So I've successfully booked for both of these. So what happens when I run the live? What does the student see when we start running the live? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna be having my face on there because obviously I'm in this video training you. So it's just gonna have a Zenla come up, but that would be my face if it was streaming. So I'm gonna show you what the student sees when we start the live. And we're gonna do that in a second. So now, as admin, I'm going to start this live class and then we're going to look at what the student sees. So I'm going to start this live class now. So this will throw up my Zoom window. And as usual, you start a little bit earlier from when the session starts. So there we have our... I'm going to mute that. So there we have, we are actually live now, waiting for our students to come into the live. There it is there. So my students are going to see this I'm just going to bring this in here this is me logged in as a student you're going to see it's giving a waiting time remember I am live at the moment here and I'm just waiting for my students to show up and they're going to show up in two minutes and 14 seconds so I'm just going to pause the video a little bit and then we're jumping 10 seconds before and you're going to see what the student would see when they're in their course waiting for you to start the live. Remember the live doesn't start, I've got this, they've got no link to going in here so it gives you the time to set everything up 15 minutes before you start broadcasting to your students. So you have a bit of time to um, start working and uh, just getting things prepared and then you know that they're going to turn up in 1 minute 44 seconds. Now also as a quick reminder, remember that you as admin need to record your session because we haven't got cloud recording. So just make sure that you're hitting that record button so that you can then upload this to the replay page once you're finished. Okay, so we have 10, nine seconds to go, eight seconds before our broadcast starts coming in. This is the student's view. And when it hits the one here, it's going to start. So waiting for the presenter and I've already started. So it's now gonna say join in the Zoom. So I'm gonna hit that. It's then gonna open up the Zoom meeting and we can then accept all of the cookies and everything. And now we can join our user on their Zoom meeting there. So this is how easy it is to do it. So a few things to just note with this. Um, about um, the feature that we've included, this new live class, which is really easy to work with. And we hope you love this feature. So I'm just gonna tell you a few of the things that we have added in here, just to re-clarify what I've already gone through. So uh, we'd like to point out that uh, we are super excited about this live feature. Um, so earlier students had to book a spot to be able to attend a live class. So not anymore, New Zena is the first Ever platform to allow live streaming into your course without needing additional Zoom subscriptions. So now you can add live class into lessons using the new live content type. You can launch live class from the lesson. Live class will then be streamed into the live class. Students can attend the lesson right in the browser without needing to use Zoom client if pop-ups are enabled, okay? Students have the option to attend on Zoom as well, and students can attend the lesson without needing to book a spot. So you can go straight in there, they can just click and they're straight through, and they can choose the ones they want to attend to attend or not. So they're all in that area, all super easy to work with. We hope you guys love this feature. This is a brand new feature from us at Zenla and we're super excited to announce it that you now have live class lessons.